Have you ever heard of anybody who had cancer? Perhaps somebody in your family? Perhaps one of your friends? You hear them say, yeah, my mom passed away of cancer, or my dad passed away, or my grandmother passed away of stage 4 cancer, lung cancer, ovarian cancer, breast cancer. I'm sure you've heard of all of that. Hi, my name is Allison. I'm a triple negative breast cancer survivor. And while I was on my journey, I've seen things that I really didn't want to see. You see, having cancer is not an easy thing. It's one of the hardest things a person can go through. You know, you don't know how long you have to live. Think your life just completely crumbles before you. And you think about your family. You know, you're not going to be there for them. You're going to miss out on graduations and weddings and first births. You're going to miss out on so much in life. You're scared. You're unsure. And then on top of that, you have people who walk away. Why would you walk away? In your defense, because you don't know. You don't know what it is like to have cancer unless you actually had it. I don't care how close you are to the person, husband, parent, child. You don't know what it's really like unless you had cancer, okay? We walk a tough journey. You know, you got all that chemo going through our bodies, all that poison is being entered into our bodies just to kill a little a little uh, tumor. The rest of their bodies having poison. It's not easy. Then the side effects. And then you don't know if it's going to return. You got to go through surgery and radiation. All of that has major side effects. And sometimes all we cancer patients need is a hand to hold, an ear to listen, and a shoulder to cry on. And that's really not a lot to ask for. So next time, when you have a, a, a the, the word cancer, wherever it's coming from, give them a little piece of advice if it's not directly to you. Tell them to be there for that person. Walk the journey with them. Because you never know when it will hit you or close to someone in your family. And you would want the same thing. So, I urge you, if you're ever going to donate, donate to cancer. Cancer is a hard battle. I mean, from children to the elderly. It doesn't have preference. Boy or girl, it doesn't care. It just wants to attack. But we must find a cure for it. And we all must chip in. Listen, I chipped in. Trust me, I chipped in. Okay? What I went through, I, I chipped in. And let me tell you, it's not an easy battle. My, my journey was actually a very easy, smooth sailing journey. And I'm very thankful for the Lord for giving me the opportunity of going through what I went through with minimal side effects during the entire journey. I went through 16 rounds of chemo, surgery, three hours, uh, 20 rounds of radiation, and six months of immunotherapy. And now I'm on a clinical trial. It hasn't been easy, but people in this world have it a heck of a lot harder than I do. And all they need is a hand to hold, an ear to listen, and a shoulder to cry on. I know I already said that, but I repeat it so it gets sunken in. Stick around. Help them. If they're not whining just to whine. If they're calling you that something's bothering them, every little pain is going to bother us and scare us. It's going to terrify us. So just try to understand us cancer patients a little bit more and contribute when you can. We'll greatly appreciate that. Hey, God bless you. Listen, don't feel pity on us. We're fighters, we're warriors, and we're survivors. We don't give up easy. We stand the fight. We stand in the middle of the battlefield, and we let Jesus. We let Jesus in charge of the firearm and the ammunition. And it is him who's, who's the one who's fighting for us. I confide in him, and I follow him, and I allow him to go ahead and do what he needs to do for me, for the better of me. I obey him. May you have a blessed 
enjoyable day. May God bless you. God bless me. And God bless the world.